Liverpool head to Chelsea today. We're at Stamford Bridge at half four. And honestly, I actually think this is going to be quite a difficult game. Let me know what you think of this game ahead of this afternoon's kickoff. But I don't think this is going to be a walk in the park. I really, really don't. And you might look at this and think, what? We've got five wins in the Premier League alone, you know, and we've beaten them already in the Super Cup, you know. We, we, we should have a good... You know, we've got a good marker for this game now, you know, and yeah, I take that, you know, we've done well in the Premier League so far. Defensively, we still look a little bit suspect at times, and I think that was exposed a little bit, tiny bit, against Napoli. I felt that, you know, all, you know, I didn't get to watch the game uh, midweek, but it's one of them things. Um, by all accounts, people say that that, is a fair, that was a fairly even game overall. Maybe Napoli edged it, but then... They took over in the last 10 minutes and they, they came out with a 2-0 victory. Now, Chelsea are another two another team that came out of their European game midweek with a loss as well against Valencia. 1-0, I believe it was. Um, and they'll be looking to get back to winning ways as well. They want to make sure that they're up there for the top four this year as well. Maybe not, if not, you know, challenging for the title. They want to make sure that they're in the top four spots as well for next year, depending on how the Champions League goes and all that stuff as well. At the moment, I think Chelsea have two win, uh, two losses, uh, two wins and no, no, sorry, I think they've got one loss. Is it one loss? They've got two wins, two draws, and one loss. The one loss being against Man United at the start of the season. Um, since then, they've got two, I think two draws. They've got two um, two wins as well. I think the wins were against Norwich and Wolves, if I remember rightly. Um, they've got the young kids firing as well. They've got the young lads firing. Um, Tammy Abraham likes Mason Mount and all that lot as well. Mason Mount might not make the game against Liverpool either, which you know could be a positive for us because he looks like an exceptional creative talent as well as well as scoring goals himself. So it, it don't we don't really know who's going to turn up for Chelsea today. But I'm expecting, as I did, as I said against Newcastle as well, and every team, I go there expecting every best version of that team that could possibly come out. That is what I expect. I know a lot of people are turning around and saying that we should, you know, oh, it should be comfortable against Chelsea. It's never comfortable against Chelsea. It really, really isn't. I don't care what other people say about, like, you know, oh, well, Man United, look at Man United. They're, they're pretty, they're god awful. And they beat. You know, they beat Chelsea 4-0. That was a freak game, as Man United fans themselves have seen, because they haven't necessarily performed very well at all since then. So it was one of those things where Man United were exceptionally clinical in that game and that game alone. Since then, not so much. Chelsea, if anything, have gone, uh, gone on a more positive run and they're actually using their youth system because they have to, because of the transfer ban, but they are using it and it seems to be doing all right for them so far. Why don't I think it's going to be comfortable? I don't know how we're going to come out in this game. I don't know who we're going to pick in terms of personnel. And I also don't know how we're going to react to what happened against Napoli. By all accounts, we played well against Napoli. We played 100% better than we did last year when we played away at Napoli. We just did not get the goals that we needed. We just didn't. So... I don't know how we're going to react because we played well and we still lost. Is that winning mentality still going to be there for Liverpool? I hope it will be because we've got some good leaders in that dressing room as well. So it should hopefully have been a good week, a good, you know, end of half of the week anyway. It should have been a good week in terms of building the character back up, building the players up and getting that confidence ready for Chelsea. But this is why I say it's going to be a difficult game. One, I don't think we're going to keep a clean sheet. I think Tammy Abraham is going to score a goal, at least. Um, and I think that this game will end 3-2 for Liverpool. But you could flip that result or it could end up as a draw. I would not be surprised which way it ends up. You know, I'm, I'm going in there open-minded that this isn't going to be comfortable. This isn't going to be easy. You know, and if it ends up being comfortable, then hey, fair play, I'll hold my hands up. But... I, I just don't think it's going to be as straightforward as people seem to think that it is. It's very, very dismissive of what Chelsea are doing right now. Eventually, they will take a big scalp. I don't want it to be us. Obviously, I don't want it to be us, you know, because I want us to keep going, keep this streak going. Six in a row in, you know, start of the season. That would be amazing if we could do that, you know. But 
I just don't think he's going to be comfortable. I really, really don't. In terms of starting lineup, I think we're going to go with Adrian, Andy Robertson, um, Virgil van Dijk, either Joe Massif or Joe Gomez, don't know which one. Trent Alexander-Arnold, and then into midfield, Fabinho, Gini Wijnaldum, Henderson, most likely, um, I think. I don't know if, any, if there's going to be any changes. There's been talk that Shakiri's been training in a new role. I don't know what this role is. Um, I might have missed something myself. If anyone's seen anything, please do comment it. I, I would love to know what it is, but I'd love to see him like be a creative person in midfield. I think that would be really cool. I think he's got the vision, the passing vision, and he's also a danger running into the box, as we saw against Manchester United. And he also provided an assist against Barcelona last year in the comeback. I'd love to see him. I really would love to see him. And then Firmino, Mane, and Salah up front as well. We've got enough in this team to create chances. We've got enough in this team to get the front line in front of goal and hopefully scoring goals as well. My problem is us being clinical. You know, w multiple times in multiple games, we'll have over 15 shots in a game and only maybe three or four on target. That needs to that needs to be something that changes. It needs to be going upwards of like seven, eight, nine on target at least. Sometimes we do do that. But otherwise, we need to become a bit more clinical, a bit more lethal, deadly in front of goal. That is what I want to see. I'm predicting a 3-2 victory for Liverpool, but make no mistake... I am not. I would not be surprised if this ends up the other way or it ends up as a draw. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below ahead of today's game. Let me know what you think of squad predictions, score predictions, all of that good stuff as well. Let me know it in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do like it and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you once again, and I'll catch you later.